partnerships are paramount. One of the keys to effective leadership now in the NHS and for these partnerships to work is that we need to be brave. It's really important actually that you establish good quality partnerships with like-minded organisations. The patient shouldn't recognise that there's a partnership involved. That co-production and co-design also brings its benefits. You can't achieve the whole package of a good outcome without everybody playing their role. Care provision in the NHS is facing challenges on the scale that it's never seen before since its inception in 1947. If we are to conquer these challenges then we need to be innovative in the way we work and the main and easiest way for us to do that is to start to work together in partnerships, in partnerships that perhaps traditionally we might not have done. We look after a lot of complex patients in Spectrum and partnership therefore is essential because actually it's, it's very difficult for any one organisation to actually fulfil those needs. So because it's all about the outcome, it's all about ensuring that you get to that outcome as quick as possible uh, in the best quality way, we find partnership working helps us to achieve that. Partnerships are paramount. In South Huddersfield we have been delivering a service for quite a while which has been integrated health and social care. In the last 12 months we've taken that to a completely different level. We've brought in and engaged with um, the third sector, in this case Age UK and the RVS, and we've also engaged in a completely different way with the police and the fire services so that actually we have a holistic picture from all the key agencies around what's going on in each particular area that enables us to deliver care in a, in a very 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 different way and care that's not just about drugs or wound management or, or, or social care packages but actually is about what that person needs to live a happier healthier and improved life. Well partnership's central to everything we do really I mean closing the title as is South West Yorkshire Partnership NHS Foundation Trust. The first partnership begins the partnership with the service user and the family because part of our values are the families and carers matter and if that partnership is solid then that's great. The partnerships beyond that become partnerships internally among our staff groups and among our teams and then externally with our partners in local authorities, our partners in acute services, not-for-profit organisations, voluntary organisations and increasingly the role of partnership feels more important. As resources are stretched the idea that you can come together and work out who's best place to deliver this feels more and more the way we're going to be doing things going forward. So it's born out of economic necessity but it also generates a feeling of real community and collective effort which feels really what we're about. We entered into a partnership with Macmillan Cancer Care and Barnsley Hospital in 2012. This is a pilot that we're undertaking for patients that have previously had cancer and they've been treated for cancer within the hospital, we then pick those patients up and undertake a series of calls. And we work alongside the colorectal cancer team at the hospital to ensure that that patient's holistic care needs are met once they're discharged from hospital. Partnership working is really important because in the middle of all this we've got a patient and it's reassuring to know that if a patient has a problem that the care navigators will contact us if they need to. The way that that's worked has been excellent really from, a, from our point of view and from contacting that patient back. It's relief. Relief, relief. to say that there's somebody at the end of that phone that you can talk to, you know, that they're there to help you. As far as I'm concerned, leadership is critical because um, it's very easy for people to retreat into their organisation or professional arenas and places. What's critical is that leaders are open, honest, transparent and at times go in and challenge those practices. To get a good quality high performing partnership, um, the more senior and visible that leadership can be the better. The patient shouldn't recognise that there's a partnership involved, what they should just see is a highly effective team of people. What really gives me a buzz is to see frontline staff who are involved in those partnerships, who've given of their time, who've been generous with, uh, with their thoughts and ideas, actually getting something back and flourishing as a result. Yeah.